Hi, I'm Chris Freitag, Certified Personal Trainer, and I want to talk to you about balance because balance is something that we all need as we age. Balance is use it or lose it in principle, but here's the thing. If you practice it, it will help you with all of your daily activities. I'm going to give you a couple exercises to start working on to help you improve your balance. So, standing with two feet, and I have a chair nearby because in case you need to hold on to something while you are improving progress, not perfection, you can hold on to a counter, you can hold on to a chair, or whatever is sturdy for you. Um, two feet firmly on the ground. We're going to just start with rocking from heel to toe. So you're going to rock back onto those heels. Now, this is a little tricky for balance, so maybe you do just hold on lightly. Don't, you know, grip too hard. Get those heels and then rock forward to your toes. Lift up through your calves, heel to toe. This is just really helping with your balance. Now, part of balance is core stability. So you want to grip those abdominals, tighten them up, engage, and do about 10 of each exercise that I'm showing you today. Now, we're going to go to a single leg balance. So we're going to take one leg off the ground, either holding your hands out for counterbalance or holding on to something just to protect you, but you're going to pull that knee in front. I want you to count to 10, about 10 seconds, holding it standing tall through your core, pulling your abs in tight. Breathe, and when you get to that 10, you're going to switch to the other side. Then try a side leg balance. This is a little more tricky. So you're going to bring that leg out to the side. You're going to feel it through your hip. Again, balancing. Now, you might tend to lean a little bit. So hold on. Grip those abs. Again, count to approximately 10 seconds and switch sides. Now we're going to go side to side. Rocking pose. So we're going to rock to one side and rock to the other. So taking that balance from one side to the other. Do this about 10 times. And again, you can hold on to something if you need to, but this is going to help you improve that balance. Good. We're going to move into the balance beam stance. This is harder than it looks. You're going to pretend that there is a two by four or a balance beam on the floor, and you're going to put one foot in front of the other. We're going to do both sides. You should do both sides, but you are going to let go if you can, zip up those abdominals, stand tall, and breathe. You might feel your feet moving a little bit. You've got to really grip, look forward, find a focal point if that helps you to balance. And of course, hold on if you need to. Count to 10 and then switch to the other side with the other foot in front. Let's go for a back leg extension, another form of balance. So now we're bringing our leg behind us, holding on if you need to or not. You're gonna extend it out to the side Hold for 10 seconds, you're bouncing on that one leg. Good job, and then you go to the other side. Now you might be ready for squats. Squats are gonna sit your butt back into an imaginary chair. Let's start by actually sitting in the chair. That's a good way to get started. So I'm just gonna pull this chair over here, and I'm gonna sit on the edge. I want you to sit up nice and tall, feet are currently on the floor, about shoulder width apart, and you're gonna pull your body up out of the chair, abs are nice and tight, and then sit back down. You're gonna use your balance, core connected. Lift up and down. Do about 10 of those, and then if you are ready for air squats, you can try them without the chair. Either hold on right here, or release your hands. This is a little harder, right there and do about 10 more. If you practice these exercises every day, you will improve your balance. Thanks for listening, good luck.